welcome back to my channel. I'm the Tiny Vegan. If you haven't been here before, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another vegan related video. So, in today's video, we're doing Make Vegan Cocktails with Me. So, all of the ingredients are obviously fully vegan. We've got loads of vegan spirits, which I'll talk you through all of them as we go through. We've got vegan mixes and fruit juices and things like that. I thought it'd be fun for you to just come make cocktails with me. So, welcome to Amy's Cocktail Corner. Let's get on with the video. So, I actually did film a clip of me making a strawberry daiquiri, but unfortunately I really didn't like the angle. But I've already made the strawberry daiquiri, so I don't want to make that again. So I will insert a picture and show you what the strawberry daiquiri looked like. For that we used the white rum, which we got from Tesco, which actually says vegan on it. We used half a juice of a lime, some strawberries, and then just ice, and it's actually really good. So this is our strawberry daiquiri. As you can see, we have already tried it actually, and it is really nice. It's literally blend blended strawberries with a little bit of a kick from the lime and you can vaguely taste the white rum but as we don't actually like really strong alcohol we didn't add a lot in we added actually what the recipe said but it just isn't very strong which is like perfect it's really nice it's really refreshing definitely something for a really hot summer's day and if you wanted it a bit more like a slushy and you had a more powerful blender than we have you could just add more ice and make it into a kind of like proper frozen cocktail instead of like a kind of smoothie which is what this consistency is okay, so this next one we're gonna make a pina colada you meant to use this one is white rum but we're gonna use malibu instead because i much prefer malibu because it already has coconut flavor in it as opposed to just white rum but i have heard a lot of people say that malibu isn't actually vegan which is wrong so the faqs on the malibu website if you google it it says that it's not vegan because although the ingredients used on are not derived from animals or from animal sources in any way the sugar that they use is used filtered through bone char but if you do further investigation that faq is relating to the us so actually british malibu is vegan because it's produced differently and it's produced using different sugar this is what i've gathered let me know if you've actually heard differently because it was all over these facebook vegan group chats like oh my god malibu isn't vegan it was like my favorite drink blah blah, blah. and if you message them directly to the uk customer service team they will tell you that malibu is vegan if you look at the faqs which is actually based off the us website then it will say that malibu isn't vegan because it is food filtered through bone char sugar used in america a lot of their white sugar is filtered through bone char which kind of puts you in the debate of, okay, that means that almost every American vegan can't eat anything sweet bought from a shop, full stop, because it's filtered through bone char, a lot of that white sugar is. Here in the UK, it's very rare that the, filter, that the sugar is filtered through bone char. Sometimes it is, but it's not common. So I just wanted to address that for those of you who were not sure if Malibu is vegan. In the UK, as far as I'm concerned and as far as I'm aware, it is vegan. But in the US and different countries, it most likely is not. For a pina colada, it's Malibu, coconut cream, but we're going to use coconut milk. Pineapple chunks, I add those in. Probably a squeeze of lime, because again, that's just my own addition. And also pineapple juice. I just eyeball this because I know how I like Malibu and pina coladas to taste i just make it up as i go and obviously ice as well blend it with ice so i'm just gonna add in a bit of malibu then we'll go for some of this coconut milk this is the lid or coconut milk so i'm just gonna eyeball it and put that in then i'm gonna put in some of the juice from these coconut chunks and some coconut chunks and get it all over the side literally 90 percent of that went on the side add in some pineapple juice some ice we're going to do a squeeze of lime, but then we blend up that and I just basically do it to taste. So the next one we're going to make is a mojito. So this is usually soda water, but we've got sparkling water instead because we couldn't find soda water when we went to Lidl. White rum, mint and sugar syrup. I mean, the recipe I looked at called for sugar syrup and I just made mine. So in this little glass, I actually shook up about four tablespoons of sugar with about a ta three tablespoons of boiling water and I shook it until it dissolved and then it's like this thick liquid and I'm going to put that in the mojito so it's really easy to just make yourself. So I'm going to do juice of one lime into this jug. Then we're going to do 60 mils of our white rum. I'm just using this cup measurement that I used before and I'm really sorry to all those cocktail bartenders out there who are just looking at me and thinking what the hell is this so i've done about two teaspoons because it's half teaspoon measurement in there i'm gonna do mint i'm just gonna crush this against the glass to mush the mint in a bit then i'm gonna add ice and sparkling water this is meant to be to taste so i'm probably gonna add a fair amount 
but I think I'll do a little bit and then try it. Again, very tasty. I think I didn't crush the mint. I should have like crushed it before I put it in there, so it would be more minty. But because I didn't do that, I might leave it to infuse for like five minutes, but it's still really good. This next one we're gonna make is a Cosmopolitan. We don't have lemon vodka and we weren't just gonna buy lemon vodka just for this occasion because it was seemed a bit pointless. My boyfriend was actually given some vanilla vodka, so we're just gonna use that instead. We do know that it won't taste the same because it's not fruity, it is like vanilla instead. But it was just seemed like such a waste of money because neither of us are a massive fan of vodka. So Cosmopolitan is cranberry juice, lime, ice, vanilla vodka and triple sec, which we have here. This is the Sainsbury's one and it actually wasn't that expensive either. So instead of buying like a Cointreau, which is a sort of more expensive branded liqueur and it costs a lot more, you can just buy a little bottle of triple sec and that is a lot cheaper. We're going to use this as a little mixing thing because this is a beginner's cocktail making without any equipment at all, just things that you'd have in your kitchen. We're going to mix it in this little milk bottle, which my boyfriend got from the co-op, which is really cute actually, it's like it's a little Kilner one. So we're going to mix it in that. So 50 ml of the vodka into our little jug. We've got this cranberry juice drink, which is from Lidl. We're going to do half this 60 measurement. So there's your 30 ml of cranberry juice. Then we're going to do 15 ml of triple sec. The juice of some lime. It's meant to be about 10 ml, but who's precise? We've got the ice, so we just going to give it a bit of shake. Also, we don't have martini glasses, so it's going to have to go in a wine glass. I don't think I've ever had a Cosmopolitan before. That's actually very nice and I actually think it worked. Although I haven't got anything to compare it with, I think that works with the vanilla vodka. That's very nice. Okay, the next one we're gonna make is a Long Island iced tea. This is something else that I have not tried before. So for this one, it's cola. We're just using the cheap little one, which is vegan. Tequila, triple sec, white rum, vanilla vodka, and it actually does call for vanilla vodka. And this is a gin. This is a dry gin. And then I think it also has the lime in it. So we're not gonna do it in the order that actually says to do it in because we've got limited things to pour in. So we've got a kind of work with what we have. We're gonna do 250 mils of Coca-Cola. We're gonna do 25 mils of vodka. 25 ml of dry gin. Then it's another 25 ml of this tequila. This tequila is vegan. I don't know if some tequilas aren't actually a lot dripped in, so we're just gonna do that. I'm not sure if some tequilas aren't vegan because they might have honey in them or something, but this one, when I looked it up, looked like it was actually vegan. Another 25 ml of white rum. So basically it's all equal parts of the alcohol to make it easy. Um, 25 ml of triple sec, just a hell of a lot of alcohol. Then it says it needs a hell of a lot of lime juice like 50 ml of lime juice. And we're gonna add in lime juice and then ice. So I know with this one, you're actually meant to like stir through the ice until it goes cold, but I can't be bothered to do that and just have loads of ice. I honestly think that I'm gonna absolutely hate this because it's got so much alcohol that I don't like. I don't like vodka and I don't like tequila. It smells really strong. It's delicious. <laughs> I think you're gonna add some more cola in there and then we'll, we'll come back and try it in a second. Right, let's try with that. It's not disgusting. It's just very strong tequila. I think if I was to make it again, I'd make it with less tequila because I'm gonna be napping till next Saturday if I finish this off. So this next one we're gonna make is a rum punch. Again, this is something that I haven't tried before. This one calls for freshly squeezed orange juice, which we do not have. Instead, we've decided to go for the cheapest orange juice on the market, which is the little own brand 30 something pea orange juice. So a perfect replica for freshly squeezed orange juice. So we'll do 80 and then a little tip or more in there. So that'll be about right, I reckon. And then we had about 35 ml of lime juice, which I put in there. We're gonna do about 75 ml of this white rum. It's meant to be golden dark rum and white rum is really definitely not golden rum, but we'll go with it. 25 ml of sugar syrup. So we'll do that and a bit more. A dash of this grenadine syrup, which is the moaning one, and this is also vegan. It just says a dash, it's not very specific. It's a dash, isn't it? And then a dash of this Angostura bitters, which is from Sainsbury's, and also when I looked online, it did say it was vegan too. 
we can't really do a dash of that. Is that a dash? Also, if the table's looking wet, it's because our ice cubes are actually melting at this point because it's been quite wet. Then pour the rum punch mix over. This actually smells so good. Sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg over. This smells like my kind of drink. It smells fruity and then it's spicy. Like I love anything spiced with nutmeg or anything like that, which as far as I'm aware, this is what this kind of is, that kind of spice. That is my favourite, by far. I think I like that even more than a pina colada. Pina colada is my favourite cocktail ever. Definitely recommend making that. And it probably would be nicer if you used a dark rum, but because we use white rum, because we want to buy a whole another bottle of drink just for one cocktail. So this one is a margarita. For this, we want triple sec, tequila, sugar syrup, which I obviously made earlier, lime and a blender because it's a frozen one. So we need a lot of ice. So we need 25 of tequila, then about 10 of triple sec, seven of sugar syrup, juice of a half of a lime, and then a big handful of ice. And then blend until smooth. We ran out of cups to put things in, glasses. It's it's a really nice slushy consistency, but it smells very strong. That's very strong tequila, but it's actually not bad. Can't say I'd order it if I was out, but I don't mind that at all. I probably recommend making that. Depends if you like the taste of alcohol. I'm not a massive fan, so therefore I have to go for things which either I put a lot of the mix or whatever it is in with it, or it just doesn't taste very strongly of alcohol. I hope you enjoyed being in Amy's cocktail corner and making cocktails with me. Next time you're out and about and you don't know what cocktail to order, just ask what the ingredients are in it. And if you can ask what spirits they use, then you can suss out whether it's vegan or not, because you can definitely veganize most cocktails that you make, almost all of them. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video with me. I hope you all have a lovely week, a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's all fly together